Welcome to Excel 2010 statistics video number 43. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Business 210 Chapter 4, Second File.xlsm, click on the link below the video. Hey, last video we talked about Bayes' theorem and we saw how to use the tabular method to calculate posterior probabilities. Now, what I want to do in this video is actually from a set of raw data on this sheet, raw data right here. I want to calculate a joint probability table. Now, we've already seen how to do that. But the point of this is to go from raw data to our joint probability table and see how in the world we calculated all these. Because in this problem, we were just given what are called prior probabilities or marginal probabilities. You're given these and you're given the conditional probability, and then you're given a formula, and you calculate posterior. In particular, we were able, when we used Bayes' theorem, to calculate our joint probabilities, add them up, and calculate the original prior probability for stuff stolen. So by going over from raw data and creating a joint probability table, and then coming back and seeing how we do these collect, um, calculations, it'll kind of probably help make a little bit more sense. Let's go to our raw data sheet. What I've done here is actually from the uh, given percentages constructed a uh, backed into the original data set. Because remember, when you're given, in the, you know, these problems just give you the data, but when you're given, oh, the probability that the garage door was open and the probability that the garage door was not open, where did these come from? Well, someone had a raw data set. They went out and created a sample, right, and created these from past data, and then they used them to as a probability to estimate some unknown event in the future, right? So these, as well as these calculations and all of these, could be calculated straight from a set of raw data. So I want to do that and then relate to that relate what we did here for Bayes' theorem to our joint probability table. All right, here is our data set. And if you look, garage door open, stuff stolen. Garage door open, stuff stolen. All right, so uh, they probably went through uh, police records, right? And here's garage doors open, stuff not stolen. If you come down here, here's garage not open, stuff not stolen. Somewhere here, there's some garage door. So there's some garage door not open stuff stolen. All right, so let's create a pivot table and calculate uh, actually a cross tabulated table and a joint probability table with field names at the top, records and rows, blanks all the way around. Click in one cell, insert pivot table, pivot table, Alt NVT. I'm going to place this on this existing sheet. And how about right? There. Click OK. Now I'm going to drag garage door down to here. There's our two categories. Or events. There's our column labels. So our, our events, garage not open, garage open, stuff not stolen, stuff stolen. And then you can drag either one of these down to the values. That's just our cross tabulated table. I'm going to immediately come up to design Go to Report Layout Tabular, maybe more, something minimal. Now I'm going to copy this. This is our cross-tabulated table, but we want to look at a joint probability table, actually, and a conditional probability table. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it right there, Control-V. I'm going to paste it right here, Control-V. Now. For this calculation, let's go ahead and calculate our joint probabilities, right? This divided by that, this divided by that. So th for this calculation, we do all of the numbers divided by the grand total. And that gives us our joint, our and, right? Because and means, at this 75, means stuff was stolen and the garage was not open. So I'm going to right click. Summarize values as in this great new 2010 drop down, we can simply go percent of grand total. Now, I'm going to move this out of the, actually close it. I'm going to immediately going to right click value field settings. I want to change the number format. I want to get rid of that percentage. 
number, general, that wipes away all of that percentage number formatting. Click OK, click OK. So there we have our joint probability table. Now I want to add some color to this to color code it and then look at this little legend on the side. And then compare it to our other table, right? This is from raw data. All right, so inside here's our uh, joint probabilities, right? So that's joint, the word and, intersection. In the book, they use the little intersection symbol. So right there, those are the joint probabilities we calculated back over here, right? So we calculate, we were given prior and conditional. So we simply calculated this times this. Anytime you have an and like this, you take the marginal or the prior times the conditional. Right? And then what do we do over here? This is the tabular method for posterior probabilities. We actually added all these up. And we surmise that because these are mutually exclusive categories, this right garage door open, garage not open, and both stuff stolen, this had to be the prior probability or the marginal probability for stuff stolen. And if you look at our raw data, sure enough, it is, right? Stuff stolen total, right here, to 200 divided by the grand total, that is our marginal or prior probability. We, of course, over here then can figure out in this table here what the probability of stuff not stolen is. We simply do the complement rule, 1 minus that. Now, these were given, right? We just showed how we calculated. That's how you would get those, right? So in a problem like this, we're just given these. But somewhere, someone along the line had a, a, a sample or some huge data set from police records and calculated these prior or marginal probabilities. Now, these also were given to us, but how would you calculate those from the original data set? In this joint probability table, we calculate each individual item as a, as a percentage or proportion of the grand total. Down here for conditional probabilities, remember we want stuff stolen given that garage door was open and stuff not stolen given that garage door was open. So we want to calculate percentage of row total. I want this divided by 2,500 and 125 divided by 2,500. And when we calculate these two here, this better come out to be 0 0.01 and this better come out to be 0 0.05. Right click. I'm going to go to value fields. No, uh, show values as percentage of row total. Right-click, Value Field Settings, Number, General, click OK. Click OK. And there we have our conditional probabilities. I should have put this over here. And probably the, uh, we could do a little color coding here. Something like that. So the conditional probabilities, 1 and 0 0.05, we come back over here. Uh, we, that's what we were given right here. SS given garage open is 0 0.05. SS given garage doors open was 0 0.05. So the point of this video was just kind of to help make a little bit more sense and relate cross tabulation joint probability and our conditional probability table to the calculations we did with Bayes theorem in this tabular method. Now of course the whole point of this was we and we did that last video to calculate our posterior probabilities. Of course probability garage so this is after the garage is already open, then something getting stolen. This is like going backwards. Hey, what's the probability that the garage was open given that stuff was stolen? Parts compared to the whole, the total here. Let me move this down. Part compared to the whole, part compared to the whole, no problem, we can do this. And then F4 to lock that, Control Enter, Control Enter. Now, these posterior probabilities, could we calculate 
those from the original data set? You bet. Those are, if we come back over to our raw data, we calculated the conditional probabilities here. These were percent of row totals. Well, if we do percent of column totals, we will get our posterior probabilities. I'm going to copy this, paste it right here. I'm going to, this table already has that calculation of format. Right click, show values as, and instead of percent of row total, let's do percent of column total. And sure enough, I'm going to add some yellow here. There's our, since this is a row total, we're isolating on SS, stuff stolen. So it is two items here. Garage open, given that stuff was stolen, 0.625. Garage not open, given that stuff was stolen, 0.375. And we look back over here, that's exactly what we calculated. All right, uh, this video just uh, hopefully related our source raw data to our cross tabulation joint probability tables, conditional probability and posterior probability, all these calculations from raw data. And in, uh, to this, where we're simply given just a few numbers like this, and we have to calculate using uh, our tabular method here. All right, uh, that's the last video for chapter four. See you next chapter.